BBC can reveal that the deputy chairman of UKIP lied publicly about his part in a proposed wind farm. South West MEP William Dartmouth was personally involved in negotiating a deal which could have earned his family £100,000 a year. But in a television interview, he denied any involvement. Here's our political editor, Paul Boltrop. I said the interview is over. It's not a subject he likes talking about. This was May 2014, and I was trying to find out about a wind farm proposed for land he used to own. William Dartmouth was at the BBC for a recording of the Sunday Politics West, during which he was questioned. And did you know that that land might be used as a wind farm? I don't know. Um, no. All right. No. His party is totally against onshore wind farms. Here's how UKIP's former leader put it. It's very, very good for rich people. Very good indeed. If you're a landowner and you get £1,000 a day for just putting wind turbines on your land, isn't that great? To get to the truth, I went to Slathwaite Moor in Yorkshire. The deal to put up wind turbines on this site was agreed in May 2011, just three months after William Dartmouth had given ownership of the site to a relative. Yet it turns out negotiations over the wind farm had begun years earlier. I meet the chairman of the Wind Farm Cooperative. He had face-to-face -face meetings with William Dartmouth. We talked to Lord Dartmouth. Or I, I went down on behalf of the Wind Cooperative and spoke to him, and he was uh, very cooperative, um, keen to help us if he could. A substantial rent would have been paid. I can't give specific details for this one still, but you might expect to raise fifty to £100,000 per year for the sort of development we were looking at. The revelations have been seized upon by political rivals. It seems that there's clear evidence now that Dartmouth has behaved dishonestly and obviously we expect higher standards than that from our elected politicians, but it also does smack of hypocrisy. In a statement, William Dartmouth admits his involvement. He says his views about wind farms changed to opposing them, but it would not have been right to let down a local cooperative. His party leader has been told and is considering what action to take. Paul Bartrop, BBC Points West.